Hey, it's John Galan. Today, I'm going to show you a couple of new features in Bicep that have really helped me out. So I have this main.bicep file, which deploys at the subscription level. And I have a resources.bicep file where I put all of my resources. Right now, I only have an app insights, but typically I would have websites, databases, and so on here. Inside of my app insights file, I have an app insights component. Now I'm in the Azure portal in that app insights resource I just created. And when you click on this application dashboard button right here, it directs you to this very nice dashboard. This has a lot of great stuff in it and is part of my application. I wanted this dashboard to be deployed as part of the resource group for this application that I'm creating. So I wanted to be able to redeploy this dashboard without the user having to click that generate dashboard button. Now I could have done this. I could have gone to export, downloaded the ARM template file for that, uh, but there's a bit of decompiling and transferring to Bicep that you have to do to get that all to work. So instead of that, I'm going to use the Bicep insert resource feature that is included in the VS Code extension. It allows you to, from a resource ID, insert that resource with all of its properties into your Bicep file. So I found that resource on the Azure portal. I'm going to copy that resource ID to my clipboard. And then back in VS Code in my app insights.bicep file, I am going to bicep insert resource. I'm going to paste in that resource ID. So a few moments later, it has gone to the portal, extracted all of that data about that resource and placed it into my bicep file. So as I scroll through this, you can see it's quite overwhelming. There's a lot of properties like position and uh, row span, call span, and so on that I would definitely not want to do manually. And exporting through the portal was kind of a pain. It also has the location, tags, and name. I'm going to bring that above properties just because that's where I like to see them. And I've just renamed it to App Insights Dashboard. For location, I'm just going to change that to my location property. And for name, I'm just going to use this format here. Now inside of my properties, you'll see that my subscription is hard coded. So we're going to go through and replace that. So just a global search and replace for that with this. I'm going to do the same thing for resource group and the app insights name. The next cool bicep feature that I want to show you is the ability to disable these warnings. So you can see here, this property is not expected, but it's just because the swagger is invalid and it's not currently implemented. So what I want to do is I just want to ignore that. So see here, it says BCP 036. If I just come here and say disable next line, BCP 036, then that warning goes away. Unfortunately, I need to do that for every single one of these lines. I've asked the bicep team to allow the disable at the file level and potentially at the project level as well. But for now, this is way better than seeing that warning. So you can see what I mean here. When I run an AZ deployment sub create, it's going to output all of these warnings that are not necessary for my project. I want to hide them. So I'm going to go through and update those. So I'm going to run this again. So I've added all of the disable next line BCP 036 to my app insights.bicep file. And you can see that the warnings are no longer printed to the terminal. So that's it, just a really quick update on the new bicep features, insert resource and disable next line. Hope this helps you out, have a great day.